looking at not only just the rights of trans people having access to jobs and education, but also about all people having the right to a job at a living wage with health benefits and the right to you know, higher ed. This is, this is something that we wanted to do in solidarity with everyone. Um, so it's definitely been very wonderful that we've been able to have not only our community service, but to be able to show political solidarity with other communities, fighting to have jobs, fighting to have um, the right to an education. Mm -hmm. um, for those people out there, if they really want to, because I, I was telling him that there is a lot of people out there that they don't have the chance, they don't have... Um, no way to go into a, you know, to apply for any kind of job. Some of them, they might be really professionals, and, but they can't do it. So they have, like, they have no choice. Now we have a door open for all of them, right? We're, what we're, go yes, ahead, sir. Just take advantage of the cameras, invite them, and uh, just tell them what do you want them to do. We, we, we definitely think it's important that people um, get involved with trans justice. The job fair, in some ways, was just a, um, you know, uh, it was in a lot of ways, it was a, it was a concrete organizing opportunity and a way for people to have access to jobs, but it's also a political message and a, really, in some ways, a protest. But the city wasn't, um, did not participate, and we felt the city of New York is one of the largest employers should have been here. Mayor Bloomberg should have endorsed this and said. This is a great thing. The, the city of New York should have organized a job for people of color. It should not have come just from communities of color in the trans movement. It should have been organized by the city itself. There should be job fairs every single week because, again, the city is increasingly facing unemployment. And more and more people are, not, are, are underemployed and underemployed. And, again, there's plenty of they've spent. He's a billionaire. You know? He has Bloomberg Radio. Where's the money for jobs and education in the city that he's promised? And meanwhile, again, if we want to put it on a national scale, there's money for a war, but there isn't money for, for jobs and education. There's money for a war, but there's not money to make sure that people that have suffered through a hurricane have the right to access to homes. Um, I, wouldn't, I would go into a whole thing about know, how many evictions have happened in New Orleans since the hurricane right now. So we just, we, I mean, part of what we feel like, this is a political thing. We meet every single week, every Wednesday, Trans Justice Meets. It is open to all people of color, of trans experience, and gender nonconforming, so butches, um, effeminate gay men. It is open to all of the folks that face gender oppression um, of color. And we work with our allies, white and um, non-trans people of color groups, um, non-LGBT groups, and they, we all fight together. Um, for, um, for the rights of everyone. And so we, we, we want to tell people, get politically involved. We have a meeting coming up on December 14th at the, at the Lesbian Gay Center, um, 6.30 to 8, um, 8 o'clock. We're going to be meeting, and we're going to be talking about next steps. We want to look at what, how can we broaden this campaign? What other things do we need to be doing? You know, there could be, you know, the MTA was here today. Wow. And it was great that the MTA is here. Um, at the same time, the union is in the middle of a struggle. Look at that. And we want to be able to, if we need to show solidarity with those workers that may have to go <laughs> on strike, that means something to us as, as trans people. We rely on the, on the trains. We want to show solidarity with that union. And the same way that, you know, um, when we, we had a march for economic and social justice, we went to St. Vincent's because there's, they're talking about the fact that there's, um, you know, many of the city hospitals and the private hospitals in the city might have to close their emergency room. We know that there are all these cuts. We see no cuts to health care. And we as trans people don't want to see you know, a hospital like St. Vincent's Clothes. We were looking at different, there was a picket line of, um, at, um, east of um, Garden of Eden. Those workers are mostly immigrant workers. They, you know, have a whole struggle. We marched down 14th Street and, and um, we're in solidarity with those workers at, you know, Garden of Eden. So we're fighting for us as trans people, but we believe that this, our picket signs say, you know, um, we, de you know, we demand um, jobs and education for all, trans justice that it's for all of us. And we want to be in solidarity with every single person that is fighting for a living wage and, and looking at the fact that they have lack of access to education and housing and health care in the city. And, we, and with that, show that be in solidarity around trans rights and trans people, and we're in solidarity with you. That is nice. I know that God is always with us, so we just need to fight, right? 
And uh, do you have any uh, website page? Or? We, we you can um, find out about us at www.alp.org, www.alp.org. Any phone number? 718-596-0342, extension 18. And people can um, call us, and and if and if other if people are facing oppression, um, in a struggle, call us. We definitely want to be there for you. And in the same way, we ask you to come out and be part of our meetings, get involved with us, and we want to be in solidarity for all you know all working people, all students, all people, all communities that are fighting on the many different issues that they're fighting on. We want to be in solidarity with them. In behalf of Protestania Television, we want to congratulate Thank you. Thank you for you being here. You did a very Thank great you so job. Much. Thank and you. And keep going. Never stop. Thank you. Queridos televidentes, vamos a regresar con otra persona. Y por favor, no se me van de sus asientos. Regresamos en un segundo. Y para continuar con el programa, estamos aquí con otra de las personas organizadoras los pilares de esta organización y de esta feria que pues como ustedes han podido apreciar durante el programa fue todo un éxito, un rotundo éxito y vamos a, a robar un poquito de sus experiencias que ella nos pueda contar eh, lo mismo Damián, ¿qué hace ella aquí este día? ¿Qué estás haciendo aquí hoy? Estoy aquí organizando uno de los primeros trans and gender non-conforming people of color job and education fairs that's ever been taking place on the East Coast that we know of. Mm -hmm. And I already know your name, Tyler, right? Correct. Uh, welcome to Protexania Television. Uh, we are coming from the Bronx. And um, first thing, happy to be here with you, fighting together. And um, we really feel like really comfortable being here and explaining to our community out there the, um, there are a lot of things to do and for them, you know, and for us. So I want you to describe um, how is your experience? Starting out nine months ago um, with just the concept was something that was too vague to understand the action that ha took place here today. It really was moving to see that the community, you know, employers as big as Con Ed and MTA as well as LGBT and non-LGBT organizations in the city coming here looking to partner with us in making this a reality so that we can get people definite careers and some jobs and education. Yo creo que todo eso ha sido claro lo que he explicado ya casi todas las personas que se han encargado de, de aclararnos y explicarnos la situación que pasó hoy aquí creo que ustedes están completamente satisfechos con lo que pudimos averiguar um, Tyler uh, in behalf of Protexania Television we want to congratulate you to be here to give us support and never stop, keep going uh, remember that God is with us and yes. just we need to fight All right. Uh, thank, you thank you so much to be here with us and um, Keep fighting, as I said before. All right? Thank you. Por favor, no se me van de esos asientos que regresamos con otra persona más. Y para culminar con el programa de este día, pues vamos aquí a entrevistar a otra de las personas que se hizo partícipe en este magno evento eh, digno de imitar, que espero que no sea la primera ni la última vez, sino que esto siga y que se, co se consagre como una tradición, ¿no? que cada año se haga. Eh, nos encontramos aquí con Gael. ¿Así es? Sí, correcto. Eh, somos Protestaña Televisión del de, Condado del Bronx, eh, apoyando a nuestra comunidad, y pues queremos recoger eh, experiencias, opiniones de qué tú haces aquí, eh, cómo estuvo la feria y qué pides del público allá afuera. Bueno, eh, primeramente hubo bastante entusiasmo en toda la comunidad um, de tener este espacio para you know, conocer y hablar con diferentes empleadores en la ciudad, um, bastantes.